Alpha here at the 200 YCS Columbus, Ohio with the Top 64 contestant. Uh, who are you and what you play, buddy? Uh, I'm Logan Kite. Uh, this is my sixth top, and I played uh, Mech Knight Trickstar. You said six top? Yeah, six. Oh, nice. Uh, let's see the spice, man. Uh, three Candina. We just played standard uh, the Trickstar lineup. Uh, three, three, one. I don't think that you need to be playing two of this card. Like, especially if you're playing Desires, which you should be. I think three of this is just like super important. So I don't understand like why people play two. Maybe like whenever Sky Tracker was like a big engine, you would. But I'm not playing the Sky Tracker cards. So. Oh, all right. Yeah, and the burn damage is pretty nice, right? Right. Uh, and we played Meg Knight, so we played three purple, uh, two blue, and one indigo. Um, I wasn't gonna play a deck that did not play purple Nightfall. Uh, he's like super good right now in the format because there's a bunch of trap decks and altar guys like I mean I guess Sky Tracker isn't really a trap deck, but they have like interrupts and that are spell and trap based and this card just like eats those decks alive with like searching blue and just gaining advantage and they're really big and they're really hard for like most decks to deal with You can like bait out ashes and stuff, right? Right, yeah uh, Hand traps I played three droll two ash uh, T statistically apparently five hand traps is correct uh but i would have played a third ash if i owned a third ash um so i guess i would just play six hand traps if i owned it uh, what, uh, what card would you cut for the third ash i honestly have no idea uh i really i really do not know but that's all the monsters spells uh triple twin twister uh this is really good uh because like against sky striker you can like if you're going second you can hit uh uh, you can just, just like hit their uh, the widow anchors. Yeah, yeah, a lot of stuff. But like, if you're going first, it's also really good because like people play, set their spells to play around your reincarnation, exactly. so you can just blow them out that way. So it's good going first and second. It's the reason I played it over like heavy storm duster. Yeah. And also, you can discard reincarnation and use it as like a an extender, I guess. Uh, three light sage and two uh, terraforming. I would obviously play more of this if I could, but yeah, I think you need to play all five copies. Yo, um, state. World's Legacy Memory. I play two of this, Ooh. so it's like it's it's very similar to uh, Scapegoat, where like what it does is you can special summon a Mech Knight from your deck in defense position, uh, but for the rest of the turn you can you cannot special summon any monsters but Mech Knight monsters. So that's to be like kind of last thing, right? Yeah, or on the end phase of their turn, like Scapegoat. Yeah. Also, at the end phase, it gets bounced back to their hand. So if you want to get Blue Sky, you can bounce Blue Sky back at the end phase. Um, and it's also required for a combo in my extra deck that I'll show. Sweet. Uh, two Pot of Desires. I think this card's really needed in this deck. Uh, it just gives you more advantage, and this is like a resource-based. Do you ever mess up your, like, Mech Knight count or Banish at all? Uh, no, not really. Like, so, as long as you have, like, at least one Surge target, it's fine. Like, the two cards is, like, enough. That's the reason I play a little bit higher of a Mech Knight count to supplement Desires. Yeah. Uh, and then two Call by the Grave. This card's just, I mean, it just stops all the hand traps. And then that's the spells and then the traps I only play six uh three reincarnation i think you need to play three i don't people were playing two but that just that doesn't make sense to me and then i play uh three solemn strike oh strike i think strikes better than the other two solemns i don't think warning's very good right now and judgment that's just too much life and like everything's very redundant in this format like everything has the same effect like you can activate engage more than once per turn you can activate all the sky striker cards and like honestly like the only reason that uh I even wanted to play Judgment and stop cards like evenly matched, but you have reincarnation for that, so it, I honestly don't think it's uh, it's no, I don't think it's needed really. How come you didn't play uh, the permanents? Uh, I didn't I didn't own them, um, but I don't know if I would main deck them or not. Like I don't think that card is like super impactful in a lot of situations. Um, and honestly, the only time I ever wanted it was like honestly, I, like against Goki. I, I was the only thing I like. I lost a Goki. And spiral. Those are my two losses in Swiss, just because like Trick Stars has always had a problem with spiral. Yeah, that's true. Man. And like uh, Goki, I just didn't get to play. So maybe if I played in permanence, it would have happened. But Strike came through like a lot. So I mean, maybe you should supplement it. But like honestly, I never really thought about impermanence. Like I mean, I thought about it, but like I never really missed it. All right. Uh, I guess we'll get into the extra deck. Uh, Link Krebo and Link, uh, Link Spider. Link Krebo is needed. Um, but, I mean, you obviously would play it with Skate Go. I love about playing two Link Spider, but um, it's all, it only comes up when you're under Gozen, uh, when you activate Skate Go, and I don't think that's that warrants an extra deck spot uh, just, just, just for that situation. 
uh, Mermaid, Cerberus, Phoenix, and Unicorn. Um, I should have played a second Phoenix. It was in my extra deck the entire time, and I cut it for another card you'll see. But it definitely should have been the second Phoenix. I miss it uh, once or twice throughout the tournament. Uh, Holly Angel. I know a lot of people stop playing this, but I think without the Sky Strikers, like if you know the combos in this card, you can deal a lot of damage. And there's not another Link 2 that can deal that much damage. Well, and if it, they uh, go to a rivalry, you that's yeah, kill them. right. Like I saw goes in match, so it's something you can go into uh, that deals damage. You know, uh, we we play the light. <laughs> Okay, so he's like the light version of uh, Mrs. Radiant. I don't know, hip, hip. I don't, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. But uh, sometimes you wanna go into a Link 2, but like you don't need Holly Angel because you already attacked, or like um, you just need a floater really, like against like maybe like True Draco or something. And they don't have any back race. You just go into him, so if they kill it, you just get Kanina back to your hand. Um, that was the thought process. I made a lot in testing, but it actually just never came up because I played against like like no, no true Draco so like that's the only reason it was really in here I should have just played a Phoenix so oh that's supposed to be your second Phoenix yeah that should this should have just been Phoenix I think I just like I don't know I saw it on a deck profile I thought it was good uh, Ningrisu I know a lot of people don't play this I guess I, I don't know if this is actually standard anymore but uh, he, I, I made him two or three times he's yeah, really he's, good he's pretty decent doesn't target good yeah stuff. like you can set reincarnation summon a mech knight then send the reincarnation and go off like uh, Boral Sword, you have to play him. He's like, you kill people. Every time you actually escape go, you just kill him with this or this. I only did this once, though. Um, it's a win condition, man. But yeah, like, your opponent has to play around it or they just die. Uh, Boral Load, I cut um, Trisbania for this because, like, it kept coming up in, like, certain, like, just weird niche situations, like taking their Boral Sword with Boral Load and just winning the game because of it and just stuff like that. Um,. I would definitely play him again. I never made him throughout the event, but I think he's still needed. Uh, and my last, well, actually, there's one more. There's three more. Uh, I played the Mech Knight Link 2, uh, and then Spectrum Supreme. Okay, so this is this is the way, this is the reason I beat six out of the seven. I think I played six. It was either, I either played six or I played seven uh, Pure Strikers, Pure Sky Striker. Because if you um, can resolve, um, if you have two Mech Knights, yeah, they're in your hand. Or if you can like, if you can get a Mech Knight on the board and another monster, or have two Mech Knights, uh, you can make him discard a Mech Knight and then search the uh, spell. Legacy, right? The Legacy, yeah. And then you special summon another Mech Knight from your deck and then uh, link those into him. And what he does is, uh, when there's when he doesn't point to anything, uh, he cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. If there's nothing in his column, he can attack directly. And he can tribute something in his co or send it to the graveyard that's in his column, especially when a Mech Knight monster from your deck. So yeah, like this weird. card is just like suit. Like, every time I summoned it, but once I won the game. Well, I still won the game actually. The turn I summoned it, but he outed it. Uh, it only got outed one time. It was with uh, the dark boss monster can't be targeted. Diablos is that his name? Diablos. Yeah. So uh, this card was really good. I definitely suggest more people play like a heavy Mech Knight package to play this because like it just gives you free wins. Maybe it's not good after this event because people will know about it, but like most decks only have like Boral Load and Boral Sword as the out, and those are really hard to make whenever you're getting reincarnation and stuff like that. And the last card I played was uh, Mega Fleet because we sawed Cyber Dragon, and uh, it's just it, like if Goki tried to extra link you, I didn't know how many people were doing the Gumball Loop because this is a new format, but literally every single Goki player I played just Gumball Loop me. But like you can play, like let, let's say you open Cyber Dragon, like Candina, you can like. Clear, their, clear the extra link, summon this, uh, and then like summon Candina and play, right? Because your, your deck's like a one-card engine, basically. It just gets everything started. So I guess we're going to get the side deck. <laughs> the side deck's a little weird. It's missing, it's not really missing anything, but like I forgot to actually just put something on my deck list because I was trying to hurry to pre-reg. Uh, three Cyber Dragon. Uh, again, I told you it was for Goki. Uh, it's okay against Invoke too, because like if they just summon Mechaba, right? You can just summon it and it just like outs Mechaba for free. So like he's fine. Uh, I would play him again. Three Inspector Border. This card was for Ultra Guys. This is literally all it was for. Because that matchup can be kind of hard sometimes because like if they get rolling, it's really hard to make them stop. It's kind of like Draco. They're very similar, like not how they play, but like how like once they like start snowballing really easy. So this card was for them. Looking back at it, I didn't play any Ultra Guys, so maybe this card wasn't correct. Maybe I should. This, there should have been Ghost Ogre in my side deck, 
because I completely forgot about the card and just did not put it in my side deck. That but, is a good card. Yeah, it's very good. And I, whenever I got hand lubed by Goki the first time, I realized that I messed up. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, there, this may have been uh, should have been Ghost Ogre or another card in my side deck should have been uh, Ghost Ogre. Three shared ride. Uh, this card's just insane against like the decks it's good against. I won round. Uh, I think it was ten. It was ten uh, with shared ride. Uh, so. May like this card's just really good against Pure Strike Tiger and Goki, like because you can just draw in a hand traps so against Goki. Uh, three anti spell. This card's good in the mirror match uh, if they're playing like Sky Striker cards. It's also really good against Pure Striker. Um, honestly, like I didn't side it in. Like I two owed most of my Sky Striker opponents, except the person I lost to in top sixty four. Um, and I didn't get to side this in uh, because I wanted to side in uh, Shared Ride over it. Because, like, I literally never got to go first, game two or three, so I didn't really know how good this was. Looking back at it, it actually wasn't very good, so maybe I should have cut this for the Ghost Ogres, or maybe it should have been the Spectre Borders. I'm not really sure. Uh, and the last card was three goes a match. Um, I never I, I never seen this card, never drew it. I actually, um, if, I, if I, like, in the mirror match, if I, like, won game one, I, like, literally didn't change my deck because I knew I was going to be going second, and I would just beat them. I guess most of my deck, my opponents, my deck didn't change very much at all. Uh, so I think the main deck was really solid. The side deck probably should have used some work, but I mean, oh, yeah, that's all I have to say about it. Nice. Uh, so, uh, nice. Shots? Yeah, I have some shout outs. Uh, shout out to CM Games, Card Monster Games. They're great. You know, they're great people. Uh, shout out to Chris Deskins, Isaiah Horner. They're the Goo Crew. You know, they helped me get all the cards I needed for this event. I haven't played since. Um, like april or something whenever it was i don't i don't know remember oh, what it was. it was it was right when grass got banned it's the last time i played oh, wow. um so i haven't been playing a lot i didn't get to go to nationals or anything um and like i'm really glad the format's getting closer to a healthy state i think without yeah. goki and all that so uh, congrats on your top 64 uh, portal out